Hey people, it's Nas talking. So this is from The Guardian, Zimbabwe to introduce gold coins as local currency tumbles. Soaring inflation sea, piling pressure on country, already struggling with shortages and stirring memories of Mugabe chaos. Zimbabwe will start issuing gold coins as legal tender in late July, a central bank has said, as the country battles to control runaway inflation that has considerably weakened the local currency. The inflation rate more than doubled last month to 191%, stoking memories of the hyperinflation of the 2000s that saw the Zimbabwean dollar be denominated three times before being effectively abandoned in 2009. The governor of the central bank, John Mangudia, said the gold coins would act as a store of value when expected to reduce the demand for US dollars, a phenomenon largely blamed for the tumbling value of the local currency. The gold coins will be available for sale to the public in both local currency and U.S. dollars and other foreign currencies that price based on the prevailing international price of gold and the cost production, Goodyear said in a statement. The gold coins named Mozi or Atunia after Victoria Falls can be converted into cash and be traded locally and internationally. According to Reuters, the coins will each contain one troy ounce of gold and will be sold by Fidelity Gold Refinery, Oryx and local banks. Zimbabweans expressed mixed feelings over the news. I cannot trust the central bank to give me a coin while they hold my cash, said Evans Mupa Chikwa, a foreign currency trader. Zimbabwe is known for policy inconsistencies. What if they wake up and say the coins are no longer tradable? Another foreign currency trader, Munesa Munesu Mandiopera, said gold is expensive. I do not think many of us will afford to buy the coins. Many will continue to keep their money at home. This is another failed move by the government. Zimbabweans have an uneasy relationship with the central bank and its policies as monetary authorities continue to fail the credibility test. In 2008, the year a $100 billion note went into circulation, Zimbabweans lost their savings, including pensions, when the Zimbabwean dollar crashed. Many Zimbabweans choose to keep money in their houses or under their beds instead of going to the bank. Zimbabwe abandoned its inflation-ravaged dollar in 2009, opting instead to use foreign currencies, mostly the U.S. dollar. The government reintroduced the local currency in 2019, but it's rapidly lost value again. Last week, the finance minister, Mafuri Nakube, said the gold coins will give you more value. Gold coins are used by investors internationally to hedge against inflation, according to economist Prosper Chitambara. Their major role is to act as a store of value, but also to work as a viable investment asset. The value of gold has always been increasing at times. The global economy has been on recession. Chitambara said, adding that the high demand for the US dollar in Zimbabwe which is fueling exchange rate volatility, would weaken as the public accepts the gold coins. However, he said the new monetary policy intervention by the central bank would not address inflation, which is expected to continue soaring. It could influence inflation, but it is not the panacea to the inflation problem because inflation is triggered largely by money supply growth. When there is an alternative store of value, the depression in the local currency would be contained, Chitambara said. The central bank last week raised interest rates to 200%. From 80% and outlines plans to make the US dollar legal tender for the next five years to boost confidence. And the President Emerson Manangagwa, who took over from Robert Mugabe in a military putsch in 2017, Zimbabwe has witnessed an economic tailspin, combining a hunger crisis that has followed poor rains. Well, this is an interesting story because we've often heard about this idea of Africa having currency packed by its gold. So let's see how this goes. It's only been about a month and I have six, th- six weeks. So also, I've seen many brothers posting about, you know, passport game, travel outside America, and also travel to other black countries. So this is a, a solution. Why not travel to Zimbabwe? It could be a mutually beneficial exchange for both the Zimbabwe economy and for black Americans, Tijuanians, looking for a place to go. All the American dollars coming into Zimbabwe might help the Zimbabwean economy be rejuvenated and help it get back on its feet. So anyway, I really hope that somebody finds this video interesting. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.